Hey, you want to go down to the lake? It's time to sink the mayonnaise. Why? Why, why are we going on the lake? Because it's Cinco de Mayo. No, no, Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, it's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. We gotta sink the mayonnaise. No, that's that's Spanish for May 5th. It's not a, nothing to do with mayo. It, there's nothing to do with sinking mayo. Oh. Well, anyway, hey everybody, welcome to Sunday Morning Church. It is good to see you today. By the way, if it's your first time here, please text NL guest to 97000. It'll help us connect with you and get you connected to others. Yes, and I also want to let you know about a Mother's Day brunch and special service that is happening on Mother's Day, Sunday, May 12th. Mm -hmm. We're also having, and afterwards, we're having a special Mother's Day brunch after both services. And if you are interested, please RSVP today. Where do we RSVP at? Uh, you can RSVP at in the Connections card or on the Church Center app. Yes. Hey, if you didn't know, we have a 50s plus group that was started to help everyone connect. I hear it's really fun. I don't know. I can't be a part of it. But hey, we have they have an event coming up soon. And so check out this video to learn more about it. Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Paula. And we're the event planners for the Fun 50s Plus group. And we're here to tell you about our next event, which is a dinner party. And it's going to be on Tuesday, May 14th at 6 p.m. in the church kitchen. So what are we serving our guests? I'm ready to get cooking. Well, let me put my glasses on so I can see the recipe. Oh, that's right. It's a surprise. You got to show up to find out what we're cooking. So you need to RSVP. And you can do that on the Church Center app or on your connection card. By Friday, May 10th. Yep. Oh, I smell something burning. I better go check. I'm right behind you. Wow, that looked really awesome. Sounds like a great time. I can't wait till I'm 50. Um, but we also have a Bounce House Bash happening on Saturday, yes. May 18th from 12 to 2. Mm -hmm. And we also have invites for you to pick up on your way out. So grab a bunch of invites. Invite your friends, your neighbors, your friends' kids, your neighbors' kids. Just invite everybody. Their pet have, turtle. Yeah, their pet teacher, turtle. Your teacher's grandma. Absolutely. Everybody. Everyone's welcome. Just invite everyone. It'll be a great time. Yes. Hey, thank you for joining us today. There's a lot more information in the bulletin about some things we didn't hit. So make sure you go and grab your bulletin. It looks like this. There's plenty more information in here, but check it out and then fill out your connection card. You can sign up for events on this thing. Fill out both ways and rip it off. Put it in the generosity box or the offering bucket as it passes by. And we hope you all have an amazing, amazing Sunday. So if you want to figure out if it sinks or not, yeah, let's sink the mayo. Okay, let's, let's sink the mayo. <laughs> hey, good morning, New Life. We're going to continue to praise and worship God through our giving this morning. If it's your first time with us, we don't expect you to give. We just want you to enjoy Sunday service. But if you're here, you're a follower of Jesus, and New Life is your church home. We've been talking about how tithing is how we support and help grow the kingdom of God and the local church. I want to call our ushers down to the front of the room as we prepare to receive our tithes and offerings this morning. Matthew 6, uh, verse 24 says, No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. And this is an important reality for us to understand as believers, is that we can't serve two masters. Uh, in our faith, God asks us to surrender things in our lives to him, including our finances. And he will repeatedly test us and challenge us in all areas of life to get us to willingly surrender things to him. Tithing involves money, but it's about so much more than just money. It is about devotion. Uh, when I made the commitment to have Jesus be the Lord of my life, it means my whole life, not bits and pieces. I don't get to sit here and say, God, I surrender my life, but I'm keeping my comfort. Uh, Lord, you have my whole life, except for these couple areas. God, I give you everything, but stay away from my finances. Uh, this is the hard truth. Whatever I am unwilling to surrender to God, I am declaring that I am more devoted to that thing than I am to God. I want us to think about it like a game of tug of war, right? Tug of war does not end when both parties are at a draw at a standstill. One side is going to win no matter what. And so either I will become more and more devoted to God and less devoted to the world and the world will submit to God, 
or I will become more and more devoted to the things of this world and less and less devoted to God. With my 10%, I am making a declaration to God that all of my life, including my finances, are his to do with whatever he wants. I don't get to decide what God does with it, and in doing so, I practice surrender. And when I surrender myself more and more to God, I actually find greater freedom and joy in him and get to see the things that he wants to do in his kingdom and in his church and his world that belongs to him. There are two places to give here at New Life. There's your tithes and offerings, that first 10% is an act of devotion, and there's giving above and beyond to support kingdom builders. And there's four ways to do that giving. You can go online at newlife906.com, text an amount to give to 84321, drop an envelope with the ushers or in any of the generosity boxes, or give online through the Church Center app. As always, I want to remind us to set up uh, online and recurring giving because it's fast, it's easy, and it's convenient. Let's pray together as we move on today. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the significance of the tithe, Father. And we treat our offering today as an act of devotion, uh, that as we give, as we give to support the church and the growing local body, Father, that we offer our finances to you, Lord. And it is an act of devotion to you, Father, to do whatever you want to do with it, Lord. With our finances, we declare your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Father. And so help us to rejoice uh, in our offerings to you and in giving to you, Lord. And may you do with them as you please. And may we find surrender and hope and joy and celebration in the wonderful things you will do. And all God's people said, Amen. Well, once again, I want to thank you so much for joining us. The ushers are going to make their way around, and it's going to be a great Sunday.